Okay, guys, the big one, ears. Very innocent looking ear. This is Ruby, my beautiful girl. So expose the ear, hold it here. I, you can scruff here, just some skin and hair, just to stabilize it if you like. And check the ear. So this one could do with a little bit of a pluck, and I'm just going to show you how to do that. I use the grooming powder that is suggested. If you haven't got any of that, you can buy some Soothe powder from the pharmacy if you need to. Um, I prefer the grooming powder because it's got a little bit of grit in it. We don't want to put the powder in the ear. We want it to sit on top of the ear hair like that. Just rub it a little bit and then tiny bits at a time, pluck the hair out. Ignore any action from the dog because the more you react, the more the dog's going to react. So they do, even my older girls sometimes will have a little bit of an objection um, when I'm doing it. I just ignore it. My tone doesn't change. I just do it with confidence. Get your fingers in there and just pull out little bits of hair. Flies are not great today. They're annoying me a bit. Until that's nice and clean and dry. So it's important to get the hair out first before you start introducing anything into there to check if it's dirty or clean. Just make sure it's it's free of hair. There are little tweezers you can buy to put in there. They're like um, a little surgical implement or a pair of blunt tweezers, but I prefer to use fingers. I can feel in there and make sure that everything's okay. You can see now that that's nice and clean and free of any dirt. I use a cotton swab on my finger and quite deep. I go into the ear quite deep, even with a puppy. Now, if your puppy objects at this time, just stand there with your finger in there, not moving it, until the puppy relaxes. Because otherwise you've got a reward on your hand if you take the pup, if you take that out when the puppy objects, the puppy thinks, oh well every time I object that's going to be removed. So just stand there until the dog or puppy relaxes and then you can start again. So that ear is actually really, really clean. You can see, there's no infection, it's dry and it's free of any hair. Obviously you can message me if you've got any issues with dirt in the ears. I'll show you after I've cleaned this one how I clean inside the ear. So I'll go ahead and pluck this one and I'll come back to you shortly. 